Hello listeners and viewers, I'm Brad and this is Offcut Media. Today we're listening to the much maligned 1975 noise album Metal Machine Music by Lou Reed. Probably been talked about numerous times since its release, but even today we should mention a little bit more. Why? It is regarded as one of the worst albums of all time, so let's find out a little bit more. My own personal adventure with this album is a bit limited compared to probably other people, but I'm used to listening to weird shit, so I found this album in a CD store in Melbourne, and that was probably almost about 10 years ago. I knew about it, but I never heard it before, so I thought I'd buy it, give it a listen, see what it's like. I lasted two minutes. Two, maybe not even whole minutes. I just couldn't do it. Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Reed. I tried. But I just couldn't. The album just sits in my collection. Mind you, I never want to get rid of it because it's something that I'll probably come back to and listen to again. And for this video, I've decided to kind of listen to it again. And most of the time I go through track by track with my other videos, I decided this time that it's probably best to just talk about it as it is. It's two distorted guitars battling against each other and other strange noises happen it's I don't know how to describe it it is something you need to listen to to really get a sense of I decided to re-listen to part one and I have to say, it was a struggle to get through. I hit that two minute mark and I went, no, I need to continue on, see how I go. Got to eight minutes and I'm like, this is really starting to get on my nerves and possibly getting a little bit anxious. But I did eventually get to the end and get into part two. I needed to stop a bit into part two because it just, it, it is a very grating listen. It is not something that's going to be pleasant, and it's not something that you are going to whack on and go, hey everyone, let's listen to this. It's really not worth it. I've tried to do some research into finding out a little bit about what happened with Metal Machine Music, and it has been said that Lou Reed actually used it to get out of a contract. So this was his fifth album, and he decided to actually create something really quickly. He was told that he needed to in a certain time, and so he did. And this was what he came up with. He decided to just do it and just get it done so that he could get out of his contract. Apparently, that's not entirely true. According to Lee Reed via a Pitchfork review, he says that he actually didn't do it for that. He didn't want to malign his fans so much to make them hate his music. He actually did it out of love. He actually enjoyed doing what he was doing. And he was trying to do something experimental. The problem is, he actually did lose fans by doing this. A lot of fans did enjoy some of the music uh, from his early years as well. You look at stuff like Transformer, Sally Can't Dance. These are albums that people still love. But Metal Machine Music comes along and people don't know what to think. It's a very strange record in a very eclectic discography. And if it wasn't for Metal Machine Music, we may not have some of the experimental music we have today. I mean, I've dabbled in making some experimental music. It's out there in the internet somewhere. You look at SPK. You look at Coil. You look at Control Bleeding. Nurse with Wound. There were probably some bands that actually attached themselves to this sound and not necessarily saying that Lou was an inspiration for all of them or Metal Machine Music was an inspiration for all of them, but there might have been something within that. You also need to look at something like Metallica and Lou Reed's Lulu. That came out in 2011, so this is a long time between... I actually decided to listen to Lulu again, and Lulu's not great. 
There's actually one track on there called Pumping Blood, which Lou is doing some experimental spoken word piece while Metallica plays whatever they want to in the background. Off the pump, off the thing, the blood that I'm pumping away. If I pump blood in the sunshine, and you... And it seems like if Lou Reed wanted to actually do some sort of vocals over metal machine music, there is something within that. It's uh, interesting I've gone down the path of talking about Lulu while talking about metal machine music. Uh, but there is some similarities between the two. And there is something that Lou Reed actually said in regards to when Lulu came out. In response to this negative reaction, he actually said, I don't have any fans left. After Metal Machine Music came out in 1975, everyone fled, so who cares? I'm doing this for the fun of it. And really, shouldn't music be for the fun of it? It is one of those forerunners for industrial music, noise rock, contemporary sound art. It was also said that he was listening to Xenakis a fair bit now. Xenakis was an experimental classical composer. Uh, so there's possibly some allusions to classical works within it as well, but it is something that you'd have to delve into if you wanted to listen to it. It has been given a very bad rap over time. I still struggle to listen to all of it. I've listened to it in part. It's grating. It's anxiety-inducing. It's not a comfortable listen. If you can get through it, congratulations. All the best to you. Um, and for someone that does listen to a lot of experimental and dark ambient music and noise, I struggle to get through it too. But I think it's something that maybe you should just venture into five minutes of it at least and give it a listen. Look, it's one of the worst albums of all time, according to a lot of people. Give it a go. See what happens. I'm Brad. This has been Offcut Media. Once again, drop a comment if there's anything that you want me to look at, if you love it or hate it. Let me know, and uh, I might even give it a listen and talk about it. Thank you for watching, and thank you for listening. Are you happier as a brunette? Uh, are you happier as a schmuck? I'm no schmuck. I'm no brunette.